<clears throat> so that was a bad job of creeping. It was going too fast. Um, if it was creeping, it was going too fast and there was a car right there and he thought I was going. Um, I don't know if I was going to go, but he thought I was. This is improper. So people who um, criticize my disengagements, just then my car was doing something that it has done from the beginning of beta, which is that on a one-way road, when there are parallel parked cars like this, and there's um, a gap, there's an opening where there are no cars parked. My car tries to drive down the right side of the road, which is a behavior you would expect on a two-way street, but not on a one-way street. Um, human drivers do not drive in the parking spaces on one-way streets. So I correct it. So that it's not doing improper behavior. Um, it's done it from the beginning, which is why I am quick to correct it because I know what it's going to do. It's going to drive down the wrong side of the road. So here my car should be just picking a lane, but it's not. Um, I don't know why it didn't stay behind that car. I don't know why it's insisting on getting in, back in that lane. Yes, yeah, so that was acting very weird. It should have just stayed behind the car that I was following, I tried to get around it, and then it stopped. But anyway, back to the one-way street. I mean, that's an, in, the, uh, an improper behavior. That's actually something that I've written to the beta team about. Um, they actually asked me to send them examples of um, it doing it. This was a while ago. Uh, for whatever reason, they haven't gotten around to it yet. I don't know, maybe it's not as easy as it seems. Um, you know, for the car to know whether it's on a one-way or not. But that is something that they are aware of. And that is why I disconnect and don't let it just drive down the wrong side of the road. I get the impression from some of the negative comments that I get on YouTube that, um, that some of you think that the purpose of these videos is for me to demonstrate the car driving and what it does right and what it does wrong. Um, I'm, not, I'm not here to show you what the car will do when it does something wrong. I'm here to correct it when it does something wrong. That's the point of the training. That's, you know, the software is in beta. It's going to make mistakes. It's going to be unpredictable. Um, you know, and my job is to correct it. And um, my, my job is not to uh, let it do the wrong thing. Um, maybe some beta testers do that. They let it fail over and over again so that you can see it. But um, I guess I've been driving these roads on beta for a year and I'm not going to, I'm in the crosswalk, I'm going to scoot up just a little bit just so that these guys can cross. Um, yeah, I'm not going to just let it fail, um, just to demonstrate to you what happens when it fails because I'm, you know, actually training the software, so. I just pushed my car there because it wasn't going. Uh, one of my complaints with this uh, version is that it, it really takes its time taking off at stoplights sometimes. 
and um, that ends up causing cars behind me to, to miss the light sometimes. That happened in one of my videos uh, that I just posted. Um, you know, I do try to be courteous to other drivers. Um, that's another one of the criticisms that I'm getting is that I should just let the software do its thing and not care about the other drivers, but um, that's not what that's not what I'm going to do, and I don't think that that's what Tesla wants us to do. I don't think that Tesla wants us to be jerks to other drivers just just so that we can demonstrate that the car isn't behaving appropriately. My giving the input that it needs to go is sending that data to the beta team. That was interesting. It started to get over and then it waited until it was past the crosswalk. Now this is a case where, as a human driver, I would go around, but so this is. It seems like my car wants. To, I'm. I'm. Ha I've had enough of this. Sorry. It's ridiculous. There's too many pedestrians. That car needs to pull in a little so people can go by, and he didn't. Anyway, um, so that was not my car. That was getting a little too close to the curb for me. Um, my car was putting the blinker on there, and, and some, some of you might think it's because it was going to go around that, that car. It wasn't. Um, that particular area, I get a phantom blinker um, and have for months. Um, so I'm assuming it's a maps thing. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to make it go up Pope. I'm going to wait a little to change my destination so it doesn't try to go up Young or Denison. seemed like it was going to wait and see what those pedestrians were doing, but then it thought better of it. adjacent and we also have a truck let's see nope. wasn't gonna get it or if it, it was starting to swing out wide but it was also accelerating into it and so was gonna miss it yeah it was gonna doesn't like doesn't like the not tight street today was having a hard time with that car back there. Okay, so we didn't do so well with that left out of my neighborhood. Okay, this is good. That was great, except that it's going over to the right because it doesn't know it's on a one-way street and it, then it's going very slow. But other than that, the actual uh, creeping behavior was great. It was slow enough to where I felt comfortable. Um, I could see that there were no cars coming. You know, when I when it did it earlier, at the beginning of the drive, it kind of lurched and, you know, scared the oncoming guy thinking that I was gonna go. I thought it was gonna go. I'm not sure if it was gonna go or not, but um, that, was, that was much better. The timing was much better. <laughs> 